Hello, I am Miss Hannah, and we are going to sit here and talk about the Warriors, about the Warriors. So, in my opinion, when you read this book about the Warriors, um, you will learn a lot about the secret world of cats, or just animals, period, because this book not only tells about um, cats, but there's a series that also deals with dogs, and there's a series that also deals with like wild animals like bears. It is a really cool idea. And this idea starts out with a cat named Rusty. And Rusty is a home cat um, who is dubbed a kitty pet, which um, is kind of a derogatory uh, word for pampered animals um, in regards to the Warriors clan. The Warriors are different groups of um, cats who live out in the wild and who deal um, with life on their own without the help of humans. And there are many different clans um, that Rusty is introduced to when he comes into the Warriors. There is the Thunder Clan, River Clan, the Shadow Clan, and the Wind Clan. And the clan um, called Star Clan, that is basically the kitties that are in kitty heaven, basically. Um, it's saying that when they die, they join the Star Clan. Uh, the warriors do, good warrior does. And Rusty is a um, home cat who ends up just yearning for more. Like he constantly is dreaming about living somewhere else about the wild, about wanting to hunt and do uh, cool things that normally outdoor cats do. And so Rusty meets up with this group of warriors and he realizes that um, this little cat that he's introduced to, Great Paw, is a part of a warrior clan. And Great Paw um, pretty much led a Blue Star and um, Lionheart to him and they realized how much potential this cat has and the they ask Rusty if he wants to leave his comfortable home and come be a member of the clan. Rusty as we know had been dreaming of something more so naturally what do we think Rusty's gonna say? He's gonna say yes. So he goes out and starts a life with the warriors and is this story, this first one, Into the Wild, basically tells you how Rusty goes from a house cat to a outdoor warrior cat. And it details a whole bunch of information, like how do these cats live outside? What are their rules? Um, they are basically like, um, you know, they just have their own way of life. Not just, you know, having the people do it for them, but these cats, the reason they're called warriors is because they are literally some really kick tail um, kitties who pretty much take up for themselves, keep to their own, um, and they fight over territory and stuff. Um, it's basically just this really in-depth, amazing world that your children just pretty much dive right into. If they are really into cats or if they're really into animals, period, um, this story has great storytelling in it, great world building. You will learn so much about these animals and their way of life in this first book that by the end of it, you are ready to pick up the next one. Um, and there's a whole series. This uh, first series starts with the Into the Wild, and the um, the series goes on to follow um, Fireheart, who actually was Rusty. Uh, he gets a actual clan name when he joins the clan, which is something like Fireheart or um, Lionheart or Blue Star, that kind of thing. Those are the names these animals have. And the way that the world is built up and the way that, um, that this story is told, it just really draws children in. If your kids like to read and love animals, this is a great book series for them, especially 
um, if they're constantly reading and can't wait to look for more. You hear my kitty pet? Um, <laughs> but uh, this is an awesome series. I really think your kids are going to like it if they like animals. And if your kid already likes this series, you can understand. It's really awesome because she builds a beautiful fantasy world just for cats um, that tells of their legends, their tales, their, how they survive without people. It's a beautiful description of the outdoors and the land, and it, she tries to tell it from a totally different perspective. Whereas, you know, you normally have your human descriptions of, um, of places, but this is trying to describe it from a small animal, a cat's perspective. So, um, it's a unique look into the way that a cat would live. And instead of trying to tell a story about, you know, just one little animal, this one tells of a whole clan. And it's really interesting for an adult, you know, with, a late 30s year old lady to pick up this book and to really enjoy it means that your kids are going to just have a blast so this is the kind of book that they'd like to read and this is why they like to read it um definitely give it a try if you haven't yet um and if your child likes it this is so cool to read um there's also a series of warriors graphic novels so if they really like the um chapter books and they're looking for something different to read, um, try getting them the Warriors graphic novels. We have those available at the library. You just have to ask us at the front to request it for you because I think that they are at other branches, but we can totally get them for you. It's really cool. But all the Warriors series are at all of our branches. I'm not sure if the first one's at all of them, but I know that you can pick them up um, simply by asking on our website, kershawcountylibrary.org. Or you can go to any branch and ask them to get you the Warrior series. And you want to start with number one, Into the Wild by Erin Hunter. I hope you really enjoyed learning a little bit about the Warriors. And I hope that you guys are going to look into reading it if you haven't yet. So I hope that um, I've got some interesting things for you. And soon coming up, I'm going to have a child interviewed about why he likes the Wimpy Kid series so much. So stay tuned to my Why Does Your Kid Like This So Much series. And I hope you really enjoyed my book talk for today. I'll see you soon.